we're gonna do is our pine cone pineapple. For this, and as you can see, I did glue it and then it fell off the table and it broke off. So you just gotta make sure you let it set completely. So you need your pine cone. I believe I gave you each two, so you can make two if you want to. You're gonna need, it looks like this, little green paper and I, um, did not make the slits, and the reason I didn't do that is because if you want to cut more into it, you're going to want to do that. So you're going to need glue, and you're going to need scissors. Now, um, oh, sorry, and the paint. The paint will be in like a little baggie. This is also for the, the, pi the other pineapple that we're doing. So you just need yellow for this, and your paintbrush. One is, you got one with your... Uh, watercolors but then I gave you an extra one as well so I just put a lot of paint on it because this is a water-based paint it's not quite as colorful as the acrylic paints that we used to use all the time but um, I just, when it's in your home and not at school I want to make sure that you have everything that can be washed out so I just hold it, go around. I put lots of paint. It does take a while to dry because I put quite a bit on it. But what's kind of cool that it's not bright yellow is pineapples really aren't yellow on the outside. They're yellow on the inside. So it does look more like a real pineapple because of that. So you want to make sure you get all your leaves done. They're not leaves. I don't know what they call these pine cone petals. <laughs> so when once you get to the bottom, you just put it down or you just hold it from that top one. And the top one I didn't paint again. You can paint as much as you want. And if you do decide you want it more yellow, like this one, it did take a couple hours to dry. And if it's, this is with only one coat, but if you decide you do want it more yellow, then just go ahead and put some more on it. Okay, so we're done painting. And we'll rinse out your brush. And then this. So what I ended up doing with that was I did, I had one like this, and then I ended up cutting smaller slits in it because I gave you guys a cardstock, you can actually bend them down, like curl them down so they're, they're kind of like, uh, see how they go down like that? Now this is really big. So I'm not gonna make it quite this big, I'm gonna cut it in half. You have more than enough, so if you change your mind and you decide that you want it smaller or whatever, then you can do that. Um, and then you just glue the edges. If your glue comes out. <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. So you just need one little line like that. Fold it over. Count to 30 while you're waiting like i just hold it right there on the edge while you're waiting you can start curling down your sides you just bend them over depending on how many slits you need in it and you just curl these all the way down And then to get it to stick onto your pine cone, you're just going to put a little ring around there. And as you know, white glue is so strong, but you have to, on odd shaped objects like, like a pine cone, you have to just let it sit. Because if it gets bumped, like mine that took the top wall onto the floor, and so you've got the centerpiece that goes up, you're probably gonna wanna cover that. So this one's kind of in the way. You can either bend it down, cut it off, break it, whatever you need to do. And then I'm just putting it on the top, push it down, hold it again, about 30 seconds, 
and then just put it aside and let it dry. You, even if you just get it where you want it and let it <laughs> doesn't really want to stay so I'm going to go back and I'm going to cut that one because it doesn't want to stay down There we go. 